ambush! Your numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give him an inch. Move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Damn it! Your choice was valid, Captain, but highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another... Captain, we have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult, but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They are operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help them out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we achieve manual lock, we might fry those little guys. Then we'll get them out the old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. But then I'd miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant O'Hara, any response to our hails? None, sir. No? Well, looks like I'm going. Enterprise shuttle, confirming approach at 5 by 6. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Enterprise. I'm picking up high levels of radiation from two binary stars. The normal space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sula, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. I know. Officer, where is the captain of this station? This way. You must hurry. Is this the fun you were afraid you were going to miss? Right. We need to get everyone out of here right away. Captain, we must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock.
picking up some strange readings. There appears to be some sort of anomaly. We kind of have our hands full. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. You just keep an eye on it, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir. Help me open this. He's stuck in there. Let's get him out of there. I believe the door can be hacked from this side. Please, you must be Formalities are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. Captain, I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Report. With fewer than 10,000 Vulcans remaining, I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. I question putting anybody on this thing, Mr. Spock, Vulcan or not. Agreed, sir. I will hack the console! Doesn't sound good. Captain, I would not advise stepping into that scanner. No other way around, Spock.
Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise. We have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Will the suits hold up out there? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain, I will offer whatever assistance I can over your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? Try to live long and prosper. We should engage mag boots now, sir. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That suit is gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Go, now! Exposure our suits can handle. Whose idea was this anyway? I believe it was yours, sir. Right.
door. Let's find that stranded crew. Perhaps our phasers will work. Worth a shot. It works! Keep shooting out those vents! Captain, stay in cover. Transport is now at 4% and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to beam out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. It's all right, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, Captain. I don't believe we've met. I'm uh, James Kirk, captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Tamar? Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tamar, in what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Oh, after you. So, how do you two know each other? We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates? I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. I've got manual lock, Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Prepare to energize. Thank you.
No time to watch the sunset. Run! Are you all right, Captain? I'm definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. <sighs> Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. Mr. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Uhura, hail New Vulcan. Aye, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the rip is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. Transport ready, Captain. My phaser, Mr. Scott? I've put some wee modifications on it, just like you asked. But I've been working on some other options, too. I've got phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades, then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser. Energize. Any further out and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. Kind of quiet around here. Is that normal tomorrow? 
Negative, Captain. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on this door. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption. Let's see just how strong their security is. Captain, the system seemed to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tamar, can you operate all the systems from here? Yes, I helped build and design... Captain, if you are implying that I should stay behind... Tamar, we may need your technical assistance should things get... Unfriendly? Unpredictable. But my father... When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After you. I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. It is highly doubtful that either of us can cross unharmed. They are dead, Captain. I wasn't right in the head. I understand that our lives were at risk, but we must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed. We both need to use stun from this point on. Another disturbed individual. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. I would not have it any other way. Locked tight. We need a code. A mind meld may be our only chance to find out what has happened. Are you sure you want to touch that guy? A mind meld is our only option. Anything? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything all right? Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. So, the usual. Osavensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Timar? I am here, Father. Tamar, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. How would they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. It would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. 
If we move quietly and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. Stay down. Don't let them see you. can get behind that guy and take him out before he notices? Most certainly, our Starfleet training has prepared us for this moment. Must have been away that day. <clears throat> Dr. McCoy, have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? There seems to be high toxin levels. Origins unknown. We'll continue to investigate. Bones? You're breaking up. I can't hear you. Underground. Lost them. It appears we are now completely on our own. This just doesn't get any easier, does it? Let's look for another way in. Fuck, over here. An access hatch. The coroner attempting to steal the device. You must hurry.
device. He's got the device! We must not let him escape. Another enemy appears. We are too late. They have taken the Helios device. Sirac? He does not appear to be answering, Captain. Shit. We gotta get that device back. Tamar, do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears that they are taking it towards the surface. <sighs> we'll never catch them. Captain, if I restore power to the turbo lift, you may be able to intercept them. Do it. Enterprise, come in. Scotty, check off. Respond. You will have a difficult time communicating with your crew, Captain. When the Helios device is out of its containment cell, it causes a great deal of interference. Ah, perfect. Looks like it's just you and me, Spock. That seems to be the usual course. That water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get zapped. Seems simple enough. Indeed. must be your top priority. Sirak would not have us save him, only to put the entire galaxy in danger. Tomorrow, what's the status of the device? They've nearly reached the surface. Damn it, we need to move faster. Let's get him! Damn! 
Captain! Vulcans were supposed to be peaceful. nearby. I will mark it on your tricorder. Take it easy, Spock. The sooner we get you to the med bay, the sooner we can heal that leg. You should hurry. I'm detecting more Gorn approaching your location. Uh, there's a gurney over there. More creatures are approaching your position. Captain, I will not be able to repair your leg and hold off these creatures at the same time. Just fix my leg, Spock. I'll hold it off. Uh, you're enjoying this, aren't you? I assure you that I am not. This may... Ah, damn it! ...hurt. Here comes another. No. I believe you should now be able to stand. Good as new. Let's get out of here. Captain, we must find a way outside. I am on my way to your location. It is too dangerous. Stay where you are. Is that understood? Tamar! I would assume that she has disobeyed your request, Captain. Not surprised. She is Vulcan. Spock, Kirk, this way. These Gorn have completely infested our colony. Get us out of here! 
Will do, sir. Can you move forward 15 meters? No good. I have a big wall of green dead ahead. Well, can you move back then? Not so much. I don't know what you two are doing down there, but my job involves very complex formulas and precise calculations. Scotty, we're pinned in. Do it now. Aye, aye, Captain. There's too much interference. I can't get a lock on you. Then we need a bigger gun. Scotty, prepare torpedoes. Fire on my mark. Love to, Captain, but I can't see a thing down there. I'm gonna need a little help. Then we'll paint you a target. Aye, sir. Mr. Scott, need I remind you that the situation is critical. Time is of the essence. Full power, Mr. Sulu. We need to disable that ship. Aye, sir. Captain, the enemy ships are almost in range. Lieutenant Uhura, open hailing frequencies. No response, sir. I don't feel like talking anymore. Sulu, check off, prepare to engage hostiles. Aye, aye. Yes, sir. Captain, sensors indicate a Vulcan life sign on the larger enemy ship. It is Sorak. Captain, I would advise a more cautious approach. Noted. Enemy fighters within range, Captain. Captain, enemy ships changing course. They're heading towards us. Phaser banks fully charged, Captain. Ready when you are. Hold weapons fire only on my mark. Fighters approaching in three, two, one. Fire! damn ship is out there taking shots at us. I recommend focusing all weapon fire on its vital points, Captain. I'm seeing a dramatic increase in enemy counts, sir. Then let's get this over with. Indeed. Damage report. Assessing damage, but at first peak, she seems to be holding together, sir. But I don't know how much more of this she can take. Jeez, oh, you faster! So check off, make sure none of them get
Engage and the enemy ships have resumed their course towards the rim. With the attack fighters destroyed, we should easily overtake the remaining vessels, Captain. Hold your fire, Sulu. Take us to full impulse and bring us within transporter range. Uhura, hail the lead ship. Tell them they're about to be boarded. I said, hold your fire! Captain, it wasn't us. If I didn't know any better, I'd say they were firing on their own ships. They are creating a debris field with their own people. In torpedo range, sir. Target their engines. Just want that ship disabled. There's too much debris. We can't line up the shot. Then you'll have to do it manually. This should be interesting. <laughs> Get me Starfleet Command, Sulu, set a pursuit course. We're going after them? Full impulse power, Sulu. Aye, aye, sir. Jim, sick bay is overflowing. We need to get these people to the nearest star base immediately. Sir, the rip is interfering with communications. I can't hail command. Wait, so your plan is to go through a compressing tear in the fabric of space, to chase a vicious alien race that we don't know anything about, except they now have a doomsday device, and we can't even call for backup? Perhaps the doctor is right. If we were to fail in our pursuit, Starfleet would know nothing of our fate. Entering the rip in two minutes, Captain. We really don't even know what's on the other side, Jim. Power down, Mr. Sulu. Commodore Daniels operates a starbase nearby. He could offer additional support. Daniels? Really? Kind of hate that guy. While I agree with your assessment of his character, Captain, he may be our only option. Tomorrow we will get your father back, I promise. I appreciate your compassion, Captain. But we must focus our energies on retrieving the Helios machine. If the Gorn learn to harness its power... That isn't gonna happen. Sulu, pilot the Enterprise back to New Vulcan, search for any other survivors, and bring them back to this base as soon as you can. Aye, aye, sir. Lieutenant, energize. We need to observe quarantine procedures. We have no idea what we're dealing with here. Jim, you should probably stay clear of the injured, just to be sure. Got it. See what you can find out about the infection. We'll go talk to Daniels. I've been sent to escort you to the Commodore. I don't need an escort, especially an armed one. But... Uh, Captain, the Commodore has insisted... Captain, it would be wise to remember that Commodore Daniels is still a superior officer. It may be beneficial to our larger goal if we follow this gentleman. Ah, uh, fine, whatever. Sir? What now? You will need to check your weapons before continuing. You're kidding me, right? I'm a Starfleet captain. It is the protocol of this station. There is little time to argue. I advise that we do as they say. I just want to know one thing. Did anything come through? Sir? I assume you are here because the machine caused a rip. Did anything come through? We were attacked. They took my father. Then it works. Commodore, with all due respect, what the hell is going on here? Unlike you, Mr. Kirk, I did not get my command of a starship because my daddy died in some heroic blaze of glory. Some of us have to earn our way in life. People died back there. I'm sure history will make note of their sacrifice. Commodore, you do realize that the Helios device has fallen into hostile hands. If the Gorn learn to harness its power, they will be all but unstoppable. Isn't that where you two come in, sir? You two were supposed to be the heroes. Starfleet's rising stars, or so I read somewhere. If that is truly the case, I would advise that you get that machine back before there are even more casualties. 
What have I done? What you've done, Tamar, is help create a machine that will shape the future of Starfleet. Wait, you knew about this? Tamar? Spock, you must believe me. I did this to protect our people. That device was supposed to help rebuild our planet. If I had known that, it would have... On screen! Commodore, where is your communications bay? We must notify Starfleet at once. This is my station. I'll notify Starfleet. Prepare my shuttle for evacuation. I knew I hated that guy. Captain, I am familiar with this starbase. I can lead you towards the communications bay on the upper level. What the hell was that? I do not know. The fire is under control. Please remain at your assigned post. We need our weapons back. Agreed. Help yourself to whatever you need, Captain. These will suffice. <laughs> These ought to do. What's the status? They say there are incoming ships. We're gonna be surrounded here pretty quick. Weapons ready. Prepare for... If I didn't know any better, I'd say that was a turret. If we can get close enough, we may be able to hack it with our tricorders. Or we could take it out the old-fashioned way. Stay in cover. Injecting the crewman with some type of venom. I would suspect that this is how the infection is spread. Take it out. Who's there? Now's your chance! Run! Save yourself! What did I do?
Okay, I just need to gather my samples and... I'm uncertain how, but power has just been restored to the area. Creatures have gained access to the lab's computer systems. You think that could be after that information on that Helios machine? The doctor may be correct. Despite the Gorn's animalistic appearance, they are a rather sophisticated race. If they were to obtain sufficient information on how to operate the device... Yeah, yeah, end of the worlds as we know it. Got it. Let's stop them. Bones, you coming with us? I'll take my chances staying here. I have marked the terminals on your tricorders. You must destroy them before the Gorn can access the information. Gorn have not cracked our encryption yet, but it's only a matter of time. If you can get near that terminal, you should be able to overload it and destroy the data. Lock that keypad. One down. Only one left. Last terminal down. The security of that data was crucial. My thanks to both of you. Great. Did you get my research samples? You didn't mention anything about samples. Jeff, this is no time to argue. Without those samples, we could all become infected. Cold, mindless, and capable of human emotion. Kind of like Spock. From my experience, Doctor, human emotion is highly overrated. All right, we'll get your samples. Spock, let's go. This looks interesting. You would be best served hacking that mine to disable it. I am in dire need of assistance. 
assistance. the first sample. We must find the remaining sample and continue with our mission. Okay, Spock, let's find it. We got your samples. Anything else? I think I have all I need for now. Good. Make your way to the shuttle bay and help get some of these people to safety. Already on my way. Spock, the base has become fully compromised. I believe there is nothing further we can do except a call for a complete evacuation. You should proceed to the shuttle bay with the rest of the survivors. Acknowledged. Spock, I think the scanner's broken. Your keen sense of the obvious never fails to impress me. Captain, you made it. Well, where the hell is Daniels? He should be nearing the shuttle bay. The team and I were about to go in and clear out hostels. We should proceed before the Gorn make escape improbable for the entire crew. Everybody on that shuttle! Let's move, move, move! Commander, Captain, thank you for your help. We'll cover you. Just get your people on that shuttle. Help! Don't let them touch me! Get the hell out of my way! Captain, Commodore Daniels appears to be abandoning his post. I knew I hated that guy. Hey, wait! You can't leave without me!
Weapon status. Main weapon systems are now offline. Situation is critical. Need to give those shuttles a fighting chance. Got anything we can use? This station was not designed to withstand this type of attack. Tamar, is it possible to arm the subspace relay tower and convert the energy into some form of weapon? I suppose it may be possible, but you would need to reroute the station's power structure. But it would only afford you one highly charged shot. One shot may be all we need. You're a genius, Spock. Let's go. Outside the power station. What now? The power station's most sensitive areas are locked down. My schematics show that you can gain full entry in the security room. See if you can unlock that keypad. They do not know we are here, Captain. This should give us a tactical advantage. Couldn't agree more. Let's keep quiet. Inside. You need to disable the security at the console.
More coming, Captain. Spock, I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. it on your tricorders. continue to assault the base. If we do not arm the relay tower soon, there will be no star base left to defend. Commander, I need your help with this system. Have any doubt? The odds were against you. However, I suspect that has not slowed you down in the past. I'll take that as a compliment. Tomorrow we will immediately proceed to the relay tower. I will guide you through the weaponization process once you arrive. <laughs> Help me open this. We're gonna need to go outside. Spock gets suited up. No way we're getting through that mess. Tomorrow we have come to an impasse. Please advise. Spock. My records show that the ETT is available in your area. We will need to use our tricorders to find the ETT. What the hell is an ETT? It is an engineering transport tool. 
It allows the transporting of matter over short distances. It may allow us to proceed. The ETT may allow you to circumvent some of the damage in your path. We may be able to teleport each other through. Oh, sounds like fun. Just make sure I materialize on the other side. I shall resist the obvious temptation, Captain. Some of that Vulcan strength to get this door open. Been able to contact the Enterprise. I have sent a distress call, but this station seems incapable of receiving a response. Where the hell are they?
Antenna is offline. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me. We need to do a manual override. It appears so. Time. We'll be with you shortly. this. Thank you, sir.
I believe the command center is close. Barring any complications, we should be there shortly. What makes you think there won't be any complications? your help with this door. Thanks for the shield boost, Spock. Help! Hey, over here. We have to put out this fire. We may be able to manually trigger the fire suppression system. Let's do it. Help! Here, well, I don't know what. We appreciate the gratitude, Lieutenant, but we have little time for it. Get your people to safety and await further orders. Yes, sir. Come on, come on, run! No idea how glad we are to see you. Oh, damn it. Captain, there is nothing we can do. We must keep moving if we want to avoid the same fate. Just get me back to my ship. We can proceed through the maintenance tunnels.
Left unrestrained, the intruder could cause considerable damage to this vessel. Then let's restrain them. Mahura, we're in pursuit. Lock down all doors on this level. We're gonna flush it to the cargo hold. Have security meet us there. Hi, Captain. Negative. Get to your station. What are you waiting for? You heard the captain. Lieutenant Uhura, we have lost visual on the intruder. We have eyes on it. It is headed right towards security. They're standing by, armed and ready. I want that thing contained to whatever it takes. Aye, Captain. Fortunately not. Captain, it appears to have changed course. What happened to the security team? Never mind. What is the creature's current heading? It's headed right towards the officer's quarters. Damn it! But we cannot allow it to come into direct contact with the crew. Attempted to shut down all entry points. Too late, he's inside. Lock it in! Aye, aye, Captain. Let's get this door open. Mr. Scott, open the door. Do you think it's wise to go into that room with that beastly thing? My crew is in there! Open it now! I got it. Stay back! No, no, no! Shit. Phasers to stun. Understood, Captain. Here comes another. Bones, we've got injured. How's that antidote coming? It's a work in progress, Jim. You may want to progress faster, Doctor. The DNA coding of these lizards is very complex. If I'm gonna find an antidote, I'm gonna need a sample of the toxin from someone who's recently been infected. Think you can get me one? I think we can manage that. Transmitting samples now. I've got them. Get me a cure, Bones. I'm on it, Jim. Where the hell did he go? He appears to be using some sort of localized cloaking mechanism. No one told me they could do that. I need eyes on this guy. I don't know how he's doing it, son, but his cloaking is very sophisticated. I don't care how it works, just help me see him so I can shoot him. Captain, the fire suppression systems in this room utilize an opaque gas. If we were able to activate the system, we'd be able to see his outline. Scotty, light this damn thing up! The security locker has shut down the systems. You'll have to enable the gas manually with your tricorders. Never easy, is it, Mr. Spock? It would appear that way, Captain. Shield boost spot.
Then following the creature into the turbo lifts may not be the most ideal course of action. Do you have a better idea? Not at the moment, sir. Mr. Scott, anything you can do to help level the playing field? If you could get me a scan of his blood, it's possible I could isolate his DNA signature. Then your tricorder might be able to locate the scaly bastard. Captain, it is possible that our efforts may have injured that creature. If we could locate a blood sample... Already ahead of you. Blood sample coming your way, Mr. Scott. I'll get right on it, sir. This isn't gonna go well, is it, Spock? While I tend to disagree with most of your observations, I fear that this time, you may be correct. After you, Mr. Spock. No, Captain. After you. Got him trapped. Captain, have you considered the possibility that it is we who are trapped in here with him? You're not really a glass half full kind of guy, are you, Spock? Chekhov, shut down the turbo lifts. I'm working on it, Captain. May I stress the urgency of this request? I said just one more minute. Are you all right? I'm good, you? I am uninjured. Good, I'll meet you up ahead. Be careful, Captain. Timing, Mr. Chekhov. Thank you, sir.
blocked us out of the shuttle base system. I can't do anything remotely. What the hell is he trying to do in there? Captain, he's powering up a shuttle. You can't let him steal one of my shuttles. Scotty? I mean, one of our shuttles. Yet another appears. Good news, Captain. Blood analysis is complete and uploaded. Your tricorder should be able to help you find the Weaver. Good work, Mr. Scott. Now, where is he? into our systems. We've lost all control of Shuttle Bay. You did it. That should slow him down. Scan the area with your tricorder to uncloak him. Another console. Ship deployment is now under the Gorn's control. <laughs> One of you needs to get to those consoles to stop his hacks. <laughs> Moving a shuttle into launch position. Shuttle at full power! He could leave any second, you've got to stop him! Why isn't he out? These creatures have a unique anatomy. It appears he is incapable of movement, but for how long, I do not know. <sighs> ah, great. A mind melt? Are you kidding? Lieutenant Ahura could only decipher a small portion of their language. A mind meld is our only option. he snaps out of it. Something's happening, Spock. I am attempting to access this Gorn's memory. I know, it's not my first mind melt, Spock. I know, it's not my first, first mind melt. Memories are here, but we must find them. They conquered their galaxy, crushing every planet they encountered.
those who resisted and enslaved the rest. Threat was contained until the rip. Until the, until rip. the rip. This is what happened. To New Vulcan. I don't know anything about the machine. My daughter... Take the thing to the brig. I want 24-hour security. This thing doesn't eat unless I know about it. Aye, sir. I'm sorry. The regret is not for myself. This is a great loss for the Vulcan people. We should seek to limit such losses. If they tortured and killed Serac for that information, they'll do the same to Tamar. I am afraid you are correct, Captain. How do you want to handle this one? Our mission could not be more clear. We must go through the rip and recover the Helios machine. And Tamar? I suppose we will just have to save her as well. You read my mind, Commander. And you didn't even have to do that uh, voodoo mind melt thing with my face. Having a hard time keeping her steady. She can't take any more of this, Captain. It's taking everything I've got to keep the ship from ripping apart. Hate to be such a bother, sir, but how much longer? Not too much longer, Scotty. Unknown planet, dead ahead, sir. On screen. It appears as if this is the same planet we saw during the mind meld, Captain. Have they spotted us? It doesn't appear so, sir. If the Enterprise stays near the rip, the interference should keep us hidden. Perfect. Check off, take the control. Sulu, you gotta get us down there. Our only chance is if we fly a shuttle in manually, but the odds of them not seeing us are... I have total faith in you. Bones, you're with us. What? Why do I have to go? Jim... I'm a doctor, not a covert agent. Precisely. And as a doctor, you may be our only hope in defeating the Gorn. If you are able to discover an antidote to their venom, we could definitely gain an advantage. <sighs> Damn it. Chekhov, how much time do we have? At the current rate of contraction, the rip will close in approximately six hours, sir. Chekhov, I want the Enterprise back on the other side of that rip before it closes. After you return, right, sir? Whether or not we return. Wait. What? Captain? That's a direct order, Mr. Chekhov. 
I will not have this ship and my crew left to the mercy of those things if we can't get out of there in time. Aye, sir. Spock, Sulu, Bones, with me. Check off. I'm counting on you. Bones, let's go. Right behind you, Jim. Seriously, don't leave me down. Target, but I have to put her down here, sir. As long as we land safely, I don't care where you put us down. Spock? Readings indicate they are a separate species from the Gorn. They do not appear to be hostile. How do you know? I do not. Comforting. Curious. Their biological makeup appears ill-suited for this type of environment. You think the Gorn drove them here? It is highly probable. I would advise that we lower our weapons before we make additional enemies on this planet. Stand down. Spock, if you're wrong. If I am wrong, then Starfleet will mourn all of us. Transponder frequency is coming from beyond this ridge. Oh, well, looks like we're gonna have to jump. Sula, can you fix that shuttle? I think so, sir. But it may take some time. Try not to take too long. If anything goes wrong, we may need to get the hell out of here pretty quickly. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, you know what? I'm coming with you. What? You think I'm only useful in sick bay? I was trained at the same academy that you were. Took all the same courses. Passed every exam. Hell, I even graduated. Doctor. Uh, on second thought, I might be better suited back here with Sue. I could help out on the shuttle. Get a head start on that antidote. <laughs> Good idea. We will need to take out that radio tower first. You know, if we weren't trying to save the entire universe, this might actually be fun. If you say so, Captain. Solid ground. Nice. The tower that shot us down is up ahead. Our shuttle will not get far if that tower remains operational. Well, let's take it out. Nah, just one. Shouldn't be too hard. That remains to be proven. Anybody ever tell you you can be a bit of a downer, Spock? Yes, Captain. You tell me that with great frequency. A little too quiet. I don't like this. I would have to agree. The silence is quite unsettling. We are definitely not alone. Take cover! Where'd that come from? The enemy appears to be cloaked. How do we uncloak them? Our tricorder should be able to reveal them, if only temporarily.
like a dead end. There's got to be a way around this thing. I believe there may be a way for one of us to get across. Give me a boost. Give me some cover fire! We must not let them get behind us. Place chart. We got a new guy. Captain, you need to work more quickly. Some cover fire. Spock, let's move. We don't have much time. We will need to avoid the detection system. Spock, try to hack that console. get this thing open together.
Damn it. We're gonna have to find another way. We will need to enter that facility in order to disengage the tower's shielding. May I suggest a more indirect route? Sounds good to me. Filled with weapons, I know. This could get ugly. This is probably their security center. If we can access the central computer, we may be able to shut down the main security system. That would make our job a whole lot easier. There is a coolant system running through the pipes below. If we stop the coolant, it should shut down the main system. Let's keep moving. Thank you. 
appears to be the last of them. There it is. Spock, I couldn't have done that on my own. The shields are open, Captain. <laughs> Looks like the only way out is up. Indeed. You think we have enough charges? Our supplies should be sufficient. Then let's get to it. Making progress, Captain.
Let's get the hell out of here. Right behind you, sir. Enterprise, your assistance is much appreciated. Thanks. Captain, we're seeing a lot of Gorn activity out here. I think our torpedoes may have alarmed them. Have you been spotted? Negative, sir. The interference from the Reap has kept us hidden, but I don't know for how much longer. Hey, guys! Happy for you to continue the small talk, but the longer you keep chatting, the more likely those things will spot us. And I, for one, would prefer not getting into a full-on battle again up here. Understood, Mr. Scott. We're going silent. Try to remain safe up there. Thanks, Captain. Captain, they are a very capable crew. I am sure they can handle whatever situation may present itself. I hope you're right, Spock. The planet is crawling with Gorn. How are we gonna get through? Readings indicate that there is a subterranean system leading directly into this main encampment. Do your readings indicate whether or not I'm gonna regret going that way? They do not, sir. Well, I guess it can't be much worse than out here. Chilly, but that wasn't so bad. We have yet to make it through all the caves, sir. Ah, oh, you're kidding me, right? There's more? Give me a boost. Fascinating. I can only assume that's not good news. My tricorder readings indicate some kind of... Life form? Yes, Captain. Some kind of life form. Do you think they're hostile? Considering all we have been through, that would be a logical conclusion. Try to avoid those things in the future. A sound plan, sir. Whatever that is, that does not look good. No, sir. It does not. Spock, take out that nest! I still can't see a damn thing. We should use our tricorders to locate the creatures. It may give us an advantage. Good thinking. How did anyone ever get by without tricorders? They seem to be protecting their nests. If we can stay clear, they may not attack us. I see more of them.
We've got to shoot the nests. I'd say this, but I'm actually looking forward to getting back in the water. resemble some form of canine, and they appear to be quite hostile. What gives you that idea, Spock? Oh, great. Maybe Bones can provide some more info. Bones, Sulu, come in. We're here, Captain. We'll be sending you a scan of some kind of... dog thing. Got the scan. Those things are indigenous to the planet, definitely not Gorn, but... their DNA seems to have been altered. Altered? Yeah. They've been made more aggressive. Perfect. So they're basically really angry pit bulls. God, please, I hope we're almost there. I can't take much more of this smell. If we are going to reach Tamar, we will need to find a way inside the complex. Ah, my thoughts exactly. Landed. They are the same, Captain. They're using them as slaves. I suspect that this is what the Gorn will do to the rest of our galaxy if they are allowed to harness the power of the Helios device. Stay alert, sir. Force. If we stun them, Bones might be able to save them.
I need your help with this system. Good work, Spock. I couldn't have done that on my own. More coming, Captain. We're gonna get you out of here, sir. Captain? He's a Starfleet officer, Spock. We're not just gonna leave him here. This is your fault. What? You led those things to the Starbase. You did this to me! It was your ignorant and reckless need for recognition that opened the rip and brought the Gorn through. You abandoned your crew, you lied to Tamar, your actions killed Surak, you... Starfleet will believe me. They'll understand. My work would have lived on. Commodore! Where is Tamar? There's no hope of saving her. Where is she? They will do to her what they have done to the rest of us. Here comes another. Let's find tomorrow. Bush. Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give him an inch. Captain, grenade! Tamar! Easy, Spark. No need to go full human on me.
do you think this is all about? I do not know, but I suspect it will not be pleasant. <laughs> Spock, open to ideas here. I suggest we find weapons. Noted. Spock, if we get a shot, we need to find a way to free Tamar. Indeed, Captain. Pleasure serving with you, Captain. Optimism, huh, Spock? Would you prefer that I lie to you and tell you that this is going to be easy? You know, I might. Then, Captain, this is going to be quite easy. These weapons are pointless. Perhaps we should consider using grenades. Nothing appears to be working, Captain. I can see that. Perhaps if we had another weapon. Oh, good idea. You didn't happen to sneak a photon torpedo into this place, did you? I think so. Captain, if we were able to combine the items that we do have, we may be able to create a weapon with significantly more firepower. Worth a try. Take as many grenades as you can carry. That thing isn't going to go down easy. Wonder what that's all about. I believe we are about to find out.
Fight through it, Spark! Captain? It's all right, Spock. The antidote. Looks like Bones got it to work. You're gonna own one. Dropping you a little care package. See if there's anything in there you can use. Looks like we will both owe him one, sir. There, let's go. What about Tamar? Those lizard guys still have her, but we'll get our chance, I promise. Now let's go catch a shuttle. Sulu, can you land? Negative, sir. Then we'll need some cover. Yes, sir. If you mark targets with your tricorder, we should be able to provide you with some air support. Appreciate the help, Mr. Sulu. My pleasure, sir. Readying weapons. We made it, Mr. Sulu. We have visuals on you both. On our way. Sulu, activate scanners. I want to know where that damn Helios device is. Scanning. The device appears to have moved onto one of their ships. Jim! Readouts are going nuts over here. Something's happening. What the hell is that? I believe the Helios device has been reactivated. Tomorrow. It would stand to reason that they are using her to operate the device. Mr. Sulu, get us on board the Enterprise. We can't tackle those things alone. Aye, sir. Kirk to Enterprise. Perhaps they've gone back through the tear. Uh, Captain, you might want to take a look. What the hell is that? It appears that the Enterprise has been compromised. There's no way I can get us through that, sir. Maybe you can't, but I can. You are not considering. No, we are not considering. We'll signal when it's safe to come over. I sir. Ready? Indeed. Let's go get our damn ship back. practice on your landing techniques, Captain. What are you complaining about, Spock? We got in, didn't we? Now let's get her back. Agreed. Sulu, we're on board. Good to hear it, sir. Any chance of beaming us over there with you? 
Yeah, and the sooner the better. I don't think I can take any more of Sulu's fencing stuff. Captain, if we access that terminal, we may be able to beam them over. Gentlemen, stand by for transport. Mr. Sulu, once you are on board, head immediately to the officer's quarters. It would be advantageous to our mission if you could discover a way to disable the Gorn's tethers. Understood. Bones, get to medbay. We may need your help with the infected. On it. Energize. Scotty. If you can hear me, please respond. We must consider the possibility that Mr. Scott is infected. Or worse. Captain, I'm here. Good to hear your voice, Scotty. Back at you, sir. What's the status of my ship? She's in pretty bad shape, sir. Those greedies have the bridge, the warp core is down, emergency life support is holding, but I don't know for how long. Captain, if we are ever to return through the rip, it is essential that we get the warp core back online. It's at the top of my list, Spock. Mr. Scott, we're on our way to Warp Core. I came from over here. Crewman, let's go. We found Keenzer, Mr. Scott. You're alive! Where have you been? That sneaky little bastard! If there's any problems with the warp core, he's your man. Keenzer, see if you can initialize the warp drives. Only one core will lower. We've got to get in there and fix him. We will need to clear the area of Gorn to let Keenzer complete his work. He's no going out to the coast. appears to be the last of them. Scotty, tell Keenzer we're clear. Come on, Keenzer, we don't have all day. Uh, Captain, he may be a wee little bugger, but there's no need to be patronizing. Sorry. Scotty, things ain't looking so good down here. He thinks there's something wrong with the upper wall court. He needs you to investigate. Can do! Captain, here's the problem. Those Gorn have been messing with the system, and now there's too much pressure in the core. Before we can lower it, we have to release the pressure. You'll need to work together. One of you needs to release the pressure at the failsafe, and the other needs to lower the core at the control console. If you don't time it right, the pressure will build back up. I will release the pressure. Okay, I'll lower the core. The pressure's released. Quickly, lower the core! We will need to repeat the same procedure for the remainder of the warp cores. Crap! Radiation leak! 
One of you needs to seal the containment drum. I'll mark it on your tricorder. Just curious, what happens if we don't? Oh, nothing serious, just severe radiation poisoning. Here comes another. Radiation levels rising. Seal that containment drop. Watch your six. Scotty. Captain, I'd sure appreciate it if you could keep the little bugger safe. I know he's a pain in the ass, but... We will do our best, Mr. Scott. It's okay, officer. We did! The walk car is back online. Nicely done. The infected now appear to be our most immediate problem. How's it going, Bones? I'm making some progress, but it'd be nice to get a little help up here. We're on our way. Spock, let's get to Med Bay. About time you guys got here. What's the status? I got injured everywhere. We've been able to barricade ourselves in here, but those little bastards are persistent. I don't know how long we've got. And oh. the antidote? I can synthesize an airborne vaccine, but I need the lights back on. I can't see anything, and I don't have enough power to replicate enough for the whole ship. We can boost the power to Med Bay in the control room. Do not worry, Doctor. You will not be in the dark for very much longer. Is that some kind of joke? 
Not that I am aware of. Ensign, get me that sample from patient 42. Any ideas, Spock? We need to redirect power using these access points. Our tricorders will help us locate them. On it! They're trying to get around us! enough power to the system. Now we just need to send it to Medbay from the control room. Spock, I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. Thanks for the help. Bones, did it work? Well, I didn't think you guys had a chance in hell. Yeah, I think you got it. I want that antidote dispersed ASAP. Doing my best. Captain, we're under attack. We need help in... I can't hold them much longer. Bones, get me a location. They're in the observation lounge. Mr. Chekhov, if you can hear us, we are on our way to your location. They breached the hull! We have injured! Chekhov's waiting, Captain. On it. Just get the antidote. I want my ship back.
Thank goodness you're here. Mr. Chekhov, you appear to be injured. I will be fine. Let's get you back to Medbay. I've got you covered, Captain. Watch out! Found check off, get ready to receive more injured. I'll get him fixed up. Please tell me we have enough of that antidote. Looks like we got just enough. Now we gotta distribute it. Given the state of the infected, administering the vaccine may prove difficult. Not as difficult as you think, Spock. The vaccine is airborne. Fascinating. You mean we just pump it through the vents? Here's a highly concentrated batch of the vaccine. Get it into the generator's intake module and the vaccine should eventually spread through the entire ship. I've marked the nearest atmospheric generator on your tricorders. Let's get to it. I need triage over here! in the airstream I'd appreciate it. Things are getting a little crazy down here. just how strong their security is. Good 
good work, Spock. I couldn't have done that on my own. Dr. McCoy, the vaccine has been inserted into the ship's environmental systems. Bones, are they okay? The toxins are disappearing from their bloodstreams. They'll have a massive headache when they wake up, but all their life signs are returning to normal. Captain, whatever you're doing to the air, it seems to be taking its toll on the Gorn. Have they been incapacitated, Mr. Scott? Not really, sir, but they definitely don't like it. We're not out of the woods yet. They're breaching. We're on our way, Bones. Hurry up, Jim. There's more on the way. Could really use you two back in Med Bay. Things are getting hectic here. Hurry. I'm not sure how long my boys can hold them off. Appears to be the last of them. Good. Now let's end this. Mr. Suli, you ready to go? Ready, sir. Waiting on your command. Do it. I'll stay here and look after the engine. You do what you need to do. The shield assist! Not harm her. Spock, it could be a trap. If Lieutenant Uhura is... Don't worry, Spock. We'll get her back. You want control? I'll give you control. Captain, that is inadvisable. Don't worry, I got this.
personnel report to stations. Much longer before the rib closes, Mr. Chekhov. An hour, maybe less. It's hard to know for sure, Commander. Do you really think going to that ship is the best option? You've seen what those things are capable of. The Gorn cannot be allowed to control the Helios device. Securing it and Tamar are the only way to assure the safety of the Federation. Then promise me you'll be careful. I will do my best. No time for long goodbyes. Don't you worry, sir. The crew and I will hold off those bloody lizard ships until you come back. Thank you, Lieutenant. Sir, I know you've got your hands full and I hate to bug you with our little problems, but can you do something about their weapon systems first? We're taking heavy damage here. We can't take too many more hits. Understood. Just try to hang in there a little longer. Spock? 
I am. Let's go. Years, these chambers were not manufactured for stasis. They appear to be bio-enhancement tanks. Enhancement? You hearing this, Bones? Sounds like damn genetic engineering to me. Indeed, Doctor. This may account for how the Gorn have been able to biologically enhance their species. This place is massive. We'll never find the Helios device at this rate. Unless... Hacking their systems might give us more info. We just need to find a console with access to the secure systems. some sort of targeting platform on the other side of the ship. Look out! Hiding those tanks and hijack the Gorn transport, we should be able to get up there. I am proud of you, sir. For what? Usually your plans involve mindlessly running into danger. Don't worry, we're still gonna do that. Not know. Perhaps Mr. Scott can be of assistance. Mr. Scott, I am sending you information from our tricorders. Please confirm. Confirm, sir. If we're inside one of those tanks, how do we get those cranes to pick us up? Did you say you'd be going inside the tanks? He did, Mr. Scott. You know I'd love to help you, Captain, but we're a wee bit busy fighting off the Gorn. Scotty! Sorry, Captain. Those tanks should send out a signal right when they're gonna be moved. You'll need to scan one that is about to be picked up, so I can match its signal for you. 
Let's go. Copy that. Our shields are at 30%. We can't withstand this attack for much longer. Damn it, we need to move faster. Good work, Spock. I couldn't have done that on my own. I think we've just found this ship's central computer. Looks like it's connected to the rest of the ship through those giant cables. If we take this thing out, we can give the Enterprise a fighting chance. Any ideas, Spock? If we override the consoles, we will be able to sever the connection. Take cover! They are tracking us! Captain, I believe we may be able to maneuver behind the turrets and disable them. Disable them? Mr. Spock, sometimes it's more fun just to shoot things.
working. How did you do that? Three cables down. I don't think they like us very much right now. That's four. Last one. I see more of them. Captain. Thanks for the boost! Explode! Spock! Open fire! Captain, whatever you just did seems to have worked. The mothership's weapons have been disabled. What about the rest of the Gorn Armada? It won't be easy, but we may be able to get out of this alive. Great news, Mr. Sulu. Captain, your celebration may be a little premature. We still need to proceed to the ship's core to complete our mission. I know, but sometimes you gotta celebrate the little victories, Spock. Chekhov, something's happening over here. What can you tell me? Captain, we're reading a massive energy buildup on that ship. <laughs> If we do not destroy the Helios device, the Gorn will be able to use these rips to attack multiple targets in the universe without warning. The outcome would be catastrophic. Then we better hurry up. Grenade! Get out of there!
most impressive, sir. How many more of these things are there? have found the device. What the hell are they doing to her? I believe the Gorn are somehow forcing her to operate the Helios device. We need to get her out of there. As long as the Helios device is operational, we will be unable to beam out. And we've got to take it out. We will need to overload those plasma transducers first. Sounds good. What's a plasma transducer? Those pylons. Why didn't you just say that? We can now disable the Helios device. With pleasure. Sir, I don't know what you're doing over there, but I just got a solid transporter lock on the two of you. 
Two, we need you to beam Tamar out as well. Would love to, but I can't get a strong signal on her. It's that damn contraption they've got her wired to. Captain, it appears that the energy shield around Tamar is connected to the Gorn leader. So we gotta take him out to get to Tamar. It appears so. Fine by me. She don't have much time. The energy fluctuations on that ship are off the charts. She could go at any minute. We're doing our best, Scotty. I don't know how much longer you two have gone over there. We are aware of that, Mr. Scott. Break the shield from the spot. I will take care of their leader. Are you sure? Yes. As I believe you would say, I have a score to settle. Then get to it. <laughs> Scotty, get ready to beam us out on my mark. Captain, I have a lock on all three of you. Do it now. <laughs> like there's a whole other fleet of bad guys coming right through that second rep. Don't they ever give up? Status of our engines. They're barely holding on, but they should be able to get us out of here. Good work, Mr. Scott. Sulu, full impulse, get us through that rep. <laughs> Captain's log supplemental. The Federation is safe from the Gorn. For now. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything Spock and I can't do when we work together. It seems that the older Spock was right. Our partnership, our friendship, really is something special. Our mission would not have succeeded if not for the exemplary performance of my crew. They are all truly deserving of commendations for this one. I have recommended to both Starfleet and the Vulcan High Council that Tamar be awarded honors for bravery. I am happy to report that she will be allowed to continue her work in the rebuilding of New Vulcan. I know that she still blames herself for what happened, but hopefully, one day, she will realize that it was Commodore Daniels who deserves the blame for the Gorn invasion. We've just been given new orders by Admiral Pike to travel to the planet Nibiru to help in some sort of humanitarian mission. Hopefully, this mission will include way less Gorn than the last one. Kirkow, 